St. Faustina was asked by Jesus to have an image of his merciful love painted for all to see. It's an image of Jesus with two rays shining forth from his heart. The first ray is blue, indicating the fount of mercy coming forth through baptism. And the second ray is red, indicating the fount of mercy poured forth through the blood of the Holy Eucharist. The second way is through the celebration of Divine Mercy Sunday. Jesus told St. Faust that he desires an annual solemn feast of mercy. The third way is through the chaplet of Divine Mercy. The chaplet is a treasured gift. It's a gift that we should seek to pray each and every day. The fourth way is by honoring the, the hour of Jesus' death every day. It was at the three o'clock that Jesus took his last breath and died upon the cross. It was Friday. For this reason, Friday should always be seen as a special day to honor his passion and ultimate sacrifice. The fifth way is through the apostolic movement of the Divine Mercy. This movement is a call from our Lord to actively engage in the work of spreading His Divine Mercy. This is done by spreading the message and by leading mercy towards others. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your diamond, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated in the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. So today, Divine Mercy Chaplain, let us pray especially for the end of the pandemic, that our regular life will come back, and again together we'll be one family and we'll pray, we'll come to worship God in the church. And again, that our schools, our shops and all places will be open. Jesus always, when He saw people of faith, He did miracles. Let us ask our Lord that in His mercy He will help us, that the pandemic will be ended soon. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us.
mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God, I trust in you. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery, I trust in you. Divine mercy, fountain gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed Trinity, I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfounded by any intellect, human, or angelic, I trust in you. Divine mercy, from which was for all life and happiness, I trust in you. Divine mercy, better than the heavens, I trust in you. Divine mercy, source of miracles and wonders, I trust in you. Divine mercy, encompassing the whole universe, I trust in you. Divine mercy, descending to earth in the person of the incarnate world, I trust in you. Divine mercy, which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Divine mercy, and close in the heart of Jesus for us, and especially for sinners, I trust in you. Divine mercy, and phantom in the institution of the sacred house, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in the founding of the Holy Church, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in the sacrament of holy baptism, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in our justification through Jesus Christ, I trust in you. Divine mercy, accompanying us through our whole life, I trust in you. Divine mercy, embracing us especially at the hour of death, I trust in you. Divine mercy, and knowing us with immortal life, I trust in you. Divine mercy, accompanying us every moment of our life, I trust in you. Divine mercy, shielding us from the fire of hell, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in the conversion of hardened sinners, I trust in you. Divine mercy, astonishment for angels, incomprehensible to saints, I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomed in all the mysteries of God, I trust in you. Divine mercy, lifting us our out of every misery, I trust in you. Divine mercy, source of our happiness and joy, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in calling us forth from nothingness to existence, I trust in you. Divine mercy, embracing all the works of His hands, I trust in you. Divine mercy, Crown of all God's handiwork, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in which we all all immerse, I trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts, I trust in you. Divine mercy, only hope and 
despairing souls, I trust in you. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace, amid spirit, I trust in you. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy of holy souls, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in aspiring hope against all hope, I trust in you. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us. And in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, who is love and mercy itself. Amen.
Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit in the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious ascension. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on air thy scepter claim, all in heaven above honor thee. In fini thy vast domain. Oh, oh. 